and welcome to this video on how to use and make a right angle head in GibbsCam 2024. Now this isn't necessarily unique to GibbsCam 2024, but in the past couple of releases we have made a lot of improvements to intermediate tooling as well as changes to the general GibbsCam interface. Um, so we wanted to update this video and, and kind of show users how this is done now. Um, so I've gone to the right angle head manufacturer's website and downloaded a uh, solid model of their right angle head here. And then I just imported it into a, a blank GibbsCam file. Um, and I haven't done anything. What we need to do first is position it um, so that it's in the right spot. Um, this is a, a very important step to getting this done. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on my visible edge selection and mm -hmm. I'm going to extract this edge as a geometry. And then I'm going to put a uh, point at the center of that circle. All right. And now we're going to move this into position here. So I'm going to select our body here and say modify, absolute translate. And I like to just zero these out. So we're going to come uh, from this position. So I'm going to hold shift and alt at the same time. Uh, first, you want to click in front position, shift, alt, and click that point you made, and it should give you the coordinates of that point that was just created. And then we're going to move it to zero, zero, zero. Now, the goal here is to make sure that um, right where this head sticks into the spindle is going to be our origin. So the two position is always going to be zero, 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 and then the front position is going to be, you know, that point um, where this sticks into the, the spindle there. Okay, I'm going to hit do it and it moves into position. Uh, this is not necessarily a, a step, but I like to clean up my geometry. And, um, uh, and I'm going to do a shrink wrap as well here. Again, that's not necessary, but um, I just like to. So um, the last thing, the next thing we have to do is, um, now that we've got our spindle attachment point, we need to define a tool attachment point. Um, which is also going to be another coordinate system here. So I'm going to open up my coordinate system list and my coordinate system palette. We're going to create a new coordinate system and um, I'm going to call it tool attachment point. Okay. And uh, it's going to be on this face. So that looks like it's going to be a, a YZ. So I'm going to hit the YZ button here. Um, and you see the, the orientation of the coordinate system shifts here. And now we need to move the origin to uh, a good spot. So I'm going to do just like we did before, turn on edge selection, extract edges, create a point at the center of a circle. All right, and now I can select this point and press uh, change origin here. All right. Just kind of get rid of this stuff again. Okay, um, so now it's in the right position, but um, you need the depth to be going inward um, on, on the spindle. So I'm just gonna press this toggle depth button and you see now that we have a D pointing inward on our right angle head. All right, so that's all set up now. Um, what we need to do is now add this to our tool block library. So you can go to File, Tool Block Library, and um, this is uh, uh, it's going to ask you to create a folder to put this in, right? So I'm going to hit Create and give it a good name, like Right Angle Heads. Um, so this is going to be the folder for any right angle head I, I want to create. So that's why I, I pluralize that, even though I have one uh, right angle head here. And then I'm going to say Edit Library, and I don't currently have anything in here. Um, first thing you want to do is select your body and then right click on root and say add child simulation body um, and then give it a good name. I'm going to call it right angle head in this case uh, just to be generic. Um, however, I recommend being a little bit more specific because if you have more than one right angle head, maybe from a different manufacturer, maybe from you know different sizes or something like that, um, you want them to be distinguishable when you are selecting them later. All right, so I press OK and it, it imports that body into here, um, but it's not quite yet set up. What we have to do is right click here, 
add child receptor and this is going to be tool attachment point okay and uh, while you're in the correct coordinate system so it's important that I'm on my tool attachment point coordinate system you want to hit from current coordinate system and it's going to give the XYZ position of where uh, this tool attachment point is and it's also going to infer all the vectors from you know how we position and oriented it um, earlier all right once that's all done we can hit the add button here and it's gonna do its thing all right so now um, I have this particular uh, right angle head imported into my library um, now I'm going to show you how to use this right so I have a, another Gibbs cam uh, session open here I'm going to open this up here and it's just a, a pretty simple simple part what I'm trying to do on this guy is um, I want to use my right angle head to machine this right here so the first thing we have to do is we have to make it so the um, uh, particular MDD or, or machine we're using um, can read that folder that we were doing. So I'm using, in this case, a five axis vertical mill, um, the, just the generic one. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna go to File, Machine Data, uh, make sure that this matches the machine that I'm using, right, and hit Edit. And uh, all, of the, all the folders that we set up for our tool block should show up here. And you just wanna check on the ones um, that you're gonna use, in this case, the right angle head folder. Um, so now we should be able to read that folder uh, while we're using this MDD. I'm gonna go into my tool here. I wanna make sure that I do not have a tool holder because um, I'm not gonna use a holder and the right angle head um, at the same time, right? Um, click this blue icon here okay and um, any of the the tool block libraries that you selected earlier in the previous menu should show up here with all the different variations of um, you know right angle heads that you have in this case we only set up one so um, I click that and it's going to default since we only have one tool attachment point it's going to default um, to the tool going in the tool attachment point. If for some reason you had multiple, um, you know, you would select that here. Um, but you can see that I have my um, uh, my right angle head all set up and it looks looks pretty good, right? So I can now close this. Just real quick, I'm gonna drop this down, make a roughing operation. Um, it's gonna be, you know, pretty typical roughing operation, however you wanna do it. Um, the, the important thing is that we're selecting the correct coordinate system um, from our drop-down list. In this case, it's going to be a YZ plane. Um, Gibbs Cam will handle the tool axis orientation, all that on the back end. So all you have to worry about is selecting the correct plane. Okay, uh, I'm not leaving any stock. Update my feeds and speeds. Looks good to me. Uh, let's select this and do it. And there's our toolpath. Um, now I believe uh, uh, the the tool blocks only show up in machine sim, so we have to be using machine sim, not op sim. I'm going to come into op sim, or uh, machine sim rather, and we see uh, our head is all loaded here. Let's slow it down and just do a quick, quick machining. So um, that's a real quick crash course on how to set up and use right angle heads in Gibbs Cam 2024. If you have any questions, um, drop, them, drop them in the comments section below and uh, we'll try to answer them. Thank you very much.